The document profiler is set up to look in designated document locator folders for viewing, indexing, and automatically naming and routing documents. In this example, we'll process incoming scanned invoices to vendor folders. If we look over here, we select the repository path, the folder to watch. In this example, we'll watch the pending folder for new documents. We also set the profile on how we want to categorize the documents. Under the Advanced tab, we can set where the documents should move to after they've been categorized. You can path to the folder, or you can also auto path to the folder, have the documents route based off of values like uh, the invoice uh, number, the dates, or the vendor. In this case, we'll do the vendor routing. Uh, also, we have an existing file action. What shall we do if uh, the same file exists in the uh, same directory? And down here we can also set uh, things like uh, the property options to load the file's profile properties and or retain the properties. For instance, an invoice, uh, invoices from the same vendor, you wouldn't have to enter the uh, vendor ID or information twice. It will retain it from the previous document. Uh, we can also direct how we shall name the documents where they go in. Here we're going to use the invoice number and also how these shall be processed, in what order, uh, from the pending folder that we're watching in this case. And you can have multiple users working on these documents because we can lock the uh, documents by current user and we can even hide the files that are locked by users. Under the Notifications tab, we can notify. For instance, when a batch is, has come in or invoices, we can notify somebody. And we could do things like kick off a workflow, uh, perhaps have the invoices route to one of our workflows for assignment or approval. So let's go ahead and process our first invoice. We have an invoice being viewed on the right, and what we want to do is, of course, categorize the invoice. So to put the values on, we can start to type uh, the information, and it will bring up the correct vendor. And then automatically will bring up the vendor number. We can look up uh, from other databases and, uh, and uh, categorize this, a link to those to validate. Over here, we need to enter the invoice number. Now, we could type in the invoice number, but uh, what's also very nice in this program, we can also just select that value to be sure we have the right value and paste that in. Uh, for the date information, we have the date controls that we can use, or you can just type in the, the correct date that you would need for that particular invoice. Uh, here are the purchase number. We can just grab the order number the same way, or again, you could type that in. And for the amount, it's a good idea to come down here and grab the amount. So we'll grab the amount and we'll fill this in. So this document has now been categorized, so all we have to do is go save. And then we'll come up to the next uh, invoice will appear on the screen. And we'll repeat that process for categorization. Now one of the interesting things that we can do, if I go to the, uh, to the, uh, next, uh, the next invoice, we can come over and on this particular invoice, so we also have controls down here that we can zoom in, uh, sp uh, span around a different document as needed for viewing. So on this document, again, we can enter in uh, the, the different information by just start typing in. And when these documents are saved, remember, they're going to go into the actual uh, folder uh, for the vendor folder. So here we're going to grab off the invoice number. Just is doing kind of a secondary example for you. And we'll just select a date. And then we'll do the purchase order number. Again, select that purchase order number. Paste that in. And then we'll grab the amount. And what I wanted to show you in this case is that uh, just by simply changing this setting right here and going back, it can retain for the next invoice. Because we have some more invoices coming in from the same vendor. And and we just need to change just a few values on these. So now when I go save, it'll categorize this, uh, name the, the invoice, put it into the correct folder, and then it can bring up the, uh, the next vendor that we have uh, available to us and see how it can remember the values from the previous invoice uh, as, as needed. So that's just a, a quick look at how we would categorize and view uh, the documents. Now, just to show you the result, what we've done, on the result is the documents have uh, come in. Uh, we've categorized these documents in the pending folder, and these documents have now been categorized. They've automatically moved, and we've named them with the invoice number, and we've categorized them with the amount. So each of these documents have come in, and they found the correct folder uh, to reside in, and now these are available for searching or uh, managing within the document management system.